What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Honest Reviews with me, Chills. Today, as you can see, we're taking a look at The Final Station. This is a game that I did a full playthrough on uh, probably a couple months ago by now. And I thought I'd give you guys a nice little review on this. And uh, I, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. Um, not only was the story really well written and put together well with little bits of surprises here and there and really kind of kept you guessing as to what was truly going on until the end and even then it was just like a total mind blown moment which was amazing. Uh, so with that being said, the gameplay itself very very simple, basically got your um, your joystick to move you left and right, WSAD to move you left and right. Mouse controls your uh, aim or the other stick on the controller controls the aim. Uh, right trigger to shoot, X and B and all this shit basically to open up doors and talk to people. And basically the object of the game is you are a train conductor who has been commissioned by someone, which we believe is the government, to... Um, basically take a package of some sort to another location. The catch is they have these um, locking stations at every train station. So when you pull into a train station before you can move on you have to get a four digit code from someone, usually another person inside an office like you see on the screen here says uh, Num Nuts has got the uh, the code and uh, he's at the bar or he's somewhere else in town. It's never where it should be. So basically you spend your time going through the different towns that you come upon on your train searching for a particular person or a particular spot to find this four digit code. Along the way though you end up finding these uh, we'll call them infected people and they are shadow creatures of sorts. They're just black creatures that you see on the screen and they come in uh, different varieties. You've got the uh, face hugger I like to call. You got the um, Andre the Giant one. You've got uh, the SWAT team. You've got the normal ones and you've got a couple options of what you can do. You can fist them to death or you can hit them with your gun or you can shoot them as well. And then you can also use the environment. Uh, they have like chairs and TVs and shit like that you can throw at them as well as uh, things you can shoot to explode them. So that is very very cool in itself. Now from there what makes this game so interesting is this exploration point. Every room is blacked out until you open the door. So you never really know what you're going to get until the door is open. And sometimes at that point, it's already too late. So you have to be prepared for the unexpected, which I really, really liked. And it was um, just a fun experience all around, just using the different things around you uh, to be able to get to, from one location to the next. And then after you get your code, as you're going through these different uh, towns, you could encounter other people in like little shelters or hidden in rooms. And like it's almost like a one-sided conversation, but you can kind of guess what's being said. It's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll come on your train. So you pick up passengers at these little towns that you go to and when you get back to your train with a four digit code, the, the goal on this part is to basically get those passengers to the next location safely. So you have to do a few things on your train to be able to get them to, uh, to, to keep the train running basically, as well as keep the passengers uh, either bandaged or fed or uh, I don't think there's anything else. And with each one that you do successfully get to not just one location, it could be three or four spots down the road, but once you bring them to a, a checkpoint, we'll call it, you'll get money for, for each one that you let off. Each one has a varying amount to them, and some even give you little bonuses, like could be a clip of ammo or some pills or something like that. Um, so that was another little twist that you put on it because it wasn't just run through the town, shoot a bunch of shit and then go back to the train, go back to the next town. It was uh, something involving with the whole aspect 
Uh, so that really kind of kept the whole story and everything flowing very nicely. And uh, it was very easy to get a hold of the whole thing. And the coolest thing about this is the playthrough itself might have been, I don't know, we'll say about two, three hours, something like that. And it's uh, not a long game. I think it goes for about $15 American on uh, Steam. And all the reviews that you'll see on there are all very positive or mostly positive. And uh, it's it's great that uh, I'm not the only one that thought this. There were a lot of people that really enjoyed this game. And I think it was just because of the progression, the way that you see things unfold and how the whole thing actually works. So I'm trying to be a little vague in the way that I'm explaining things because of uh, I don't want to do any kind of spoilers or anything like that. But lots of different areas to explore. It takes you to different parts of the quote unquote world and um, you get a couple of different weapons that you get access to as well. And not really anything I personally would change about the game itself. Uh, the dialogue was somewhat interesting. There's a little bit of comedy here and there. Uh, it made it really enjoyable for me to play. And, uh, you know, it, it, like I said before, it kept you guessing as to what was truly happening. And you started to form your own opinion based around what you heard other people talking about or what you saw. And that's what really, really kept it going. Now, with all my reviews, basically the way that I try to sum it up is based off of a dollar value. So try not to give you guys any kind of uh, 5, 10 star rating kind of shit. Because to me, it's like, what is 5 stars? What is 10 out of 10 uh, based off of what? So on your value scale, will you get your money's worth? So playtime, you're looking at roughly about 5 bucks an hour, I guess you could say, to play this game. And to me, that is still worthwhile for what you're getting from it. Uh, the replay replayability on this, though, is not really there. Because once you've completed the game, in my opinion, the actual desire to go back and replay it wasn't there. It's not like, oh, well, maybe I missed a spot or maybe I could have uh, gone left here instead of right. It's pretty linear. And even if I did miss like a little underground spot we see on camera right there, it to me wouldn't have changed the story. It's nothing that like, oh, shit, maybe that's the whole thing that would have changed the outcome of everything. It's like, oh, OK, so I missed a sewer or two. Eh, no big deal. So that is one of its downsides um, but for $15 it is a great game to pick up and um, I mean I know I know there are other games that are out there that would be cheaper that you'll get more uh, playtime from based solely off of playtime I would probably have to say no it's not worth it but when you include the playability of it the fact that it's uh, easy to pick up one two great story three uh, keeps you going based off of um, progression style of play and you get to see a little bit more of that broken down in the second part of the game I guess like after uh, about an hour an hour and a half of playing you start to see that progression and how things get a little bit more difficult and then you get access to a few more things or you meet different people when you get into certain areas and start to form new opinions kind of the kind of thing so that there I think is going to be where I end this review definitely is something I would say pick up if you got the extra cash kicking around if you see it on sale definitely give it a shot you know it was a great game for me to play I have a full playthrough on the channel here I think there's 14 or 15 episodes that I did to get to the the end of the game and uh, it's like I said it's not what I expected but it's definitely a cool game so guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Honest Reviews with me, Chills. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you already know what to do. And if you haven't already hit that sub button, make sure you do that too. And you get to see at least three videos from different series every single day. And I'm starting to do these Honest Reviews more on every Monday. If you have any other series that you'd like me to review, or if you have a game that you want me to take a peek at, leave a comment down below and say, hey, dude, check out this game, or can you do a review? of this game that you played in the past because uh, I've got like I don't know a hundred games that I've played in the past if you see one that's there and you're like dude what's it really like ask me and then I'll give you guys a little review so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time take care